Welcome, in this video, I'll be covering a technical analysis on gold, Bitcoin, Euro dollar, and S&P 500 index. I'll be using the market cipher B indicator, so I'll be looking for the trend direction, as well as hidden divergence and regular divergence to anticipate trend continuation moves, and I'll talk about how we can do that um, in just a second. I'll be doing a multi-time frame analysis, so starting up on the weekly and going down to daily, as well as hourly 15-minute time frames. Uh, to give a good perspective of where things are likely going to be heading in the coming weeks and or days. So let's start on gold with the weekly time frame where price is currently in an uptrend. So we want to see bullish divergence or bullish hidden divergence uh, on our indicator. So let's zoom in here. We do see prices in a pullback right now. We have a lower low created right here, but at the same time, the money flow wave created a higher low. That's a regular bullish divergence so you can be seen here and we also see the momentum starting to curl up here the blue wave starting to curl to the upside here and so in the context of an uptrend this is what we want to see when we're anticipating another move to continue the trend so likely this pullback is getting close to coming to an end seeing as we have this bullish divergence things are starting to curl to the upside not only on this money flow wave but also on this blue momentum wave uh, so likely going to be heading to the upside here if we go to the daily we can kind of try and confirm what we're seeing see if we see the same uh, setup or not and on the daily again uptrend overall here heading to the upside and on this pullback do we see this money flow wave doing the same thing? Is it still curling to the upside? And the answer is yes, it is curling to the upside here. So we can see the trajectory of this heading to the upside with regular bullish divergence. So we got the lower low here again um, with a higher low on this money flow wave. Another thing, we have this oversold cross up on the momentum. So momentum starting to shift to the upside, not only because we have this cross up, with the momentum heading to the upside, but also uh, what regular bullish divergence tells us is that things are decelerating to this downside. So we, that's kind of telling us there's a shift in momentum coming or very likely coming. Um, and it doesn't mean that we have these indications it's going to go straight to the upside. You know, this can chop around, you know, take its time to start going to the upside, but it should start shifting its momentum and heading to the upside uh, once we start seeing these things come into play, okay? So that is the analysis for the higher time frames. Uh, looking for this thing to start heading to the upside and continue this overall uptrend uh, pretty pretty soon uh, or relatively soon. These are higher time frames we're talking about, so it depends on your perspective. Uh, but let's go down to the hourly and see what we're looking at here. Um, so right now, hourly is starting to kind of shift its momentum to the downside. Uh, we do have this coming down with the money flow. The waves are starting to come down as well um, overall. And so it's in kind of a corrective phase at this moment. It's really just been going sideways here after this push up. So I'd call this kind of a corrective phase. What we'd want to see, though, before getting uh, into any sort of up move would be this coming down and having some divergence. So we did actually have a bullish divergence with the momentum, but we did not have the same thing showing on this green wave. Uh, we wanna see the money flow and these blue waves kind of telling us the same thing. So we're not seeing a lot of uh, the same thing being said by both these blue waves and the green wave. Um, ideally, what we would have seen when we had this bullish divergence so this is the one I'm talking about right here. We get lower low on the price here, but at the same time, higher low on our momentum blue waves. Uh, so it's a bullish divergence. Yes, regular bullish divergence. And we did get this bounce out of it, but the ideal setup would be this bullish divergence. And at the same time, we get a bullish divergence on the big green money wave, but it would have been a red wave if we're looking for this type of bullish divergence, which we did not have. Uh, so if this keeps coming down, this red wave comes down and creates a bullish divergence um, at the same time that we get another bullish divergence on the momentum, that would be great. Good indication that things will be heading to the upside. But right now it's kind of a toss up because we are heading to the downside in a lot of ways. Um, I wouldn't want to be going long right here. Um, 
let's move down to the 15 minute um, 15 minutes kind of the same story here so we see shorter term things were heading to the upside here and things started to curl to the downside here with the money flow uh, as well as with these blue waves so you know it's starting to head to the downside we are getting down here with our blue waves um, but i think that we're going to be continuing price to the downside for now until we get a better setup here um, on our money flow and our momentum to kind of indicate that we're going to be heading to the upside more um, so things are looking like they're heading to the downside in the shorter term if we take a look at uh, bitcoin uh, let's start on our weekly time frame so if bitcoin on the weekly got this big bearish divergence here on the momentum so what this tells us is deceleration so things are heading to the upside but they started decelerating um, on this move up here okay so things were accelerating up until this move we had a deceleration so that's why we have a lower high bearish divergence if we take a look at our money flow it's not really telling us too much it still was coming to the upside so um, it doesn't really tell us a whole lot overall this does look like it's curling to the upside the money flow so we may want to look for a deeper pullback here as this is still coming down pretty hard so wait for this start looking like it's going to curl to the upside maybe on a lower time frame um, and we don't have that yet on the three day either um, on the daily we still don't have that it doesn't really look like it's starting to curl up here on the money flow we don't have any uh, bullish divergence on the momentum or on the money flow so uh, I, I just wouldn't be entering into a long here right at this moment uh, you know maybe this comes up a little bit higher and sweeps some highs before continuing down and maybe down here is where we get that bullish divergence and then we can look for that next move up but it's just not there yet okay so I'm just going to be a waiting game on this one to look for the right setup to be getting into a long based on this weekly starting to curl to the upside. Um, but remember, we did have this weekly bearish divergence, but the uh, money flow did not agree with that. Money flow still looks like it's been heading up. So um, I'd be anticipating um, a bottoming process somewhere down here if we can get the setup correctly with some bullish divergence on the money flow and uh, on our momentum. Okay. Let's go down the hourly um, hourly uh, money flow looks like it's been going to the upside here so um, curling to the upside as price just kind of chops sideways but money flow looks like it's been heading up or at least it's neutral so right now it's kind of a toss-up um, we're coming down oversold here on momentum so potentially a pause in this down move uh, maybe some upside but or more chop but this is not telling us a lot because you know it's pretty much chopping sideways um, let's go down to the 15 minute 15 minute time frame short term momentum's heading to the upside so we're taking a pause or a bounce here um, same thing with the money flow starting to come to the upside um, did sweep the low right here so i think maybe some short term upside some uh, chop maybe a bit of a bounce um, it's kind of slowing down this move so maybe we see this kind of chop around here for a bit um, hasn't really given us a lot of movement throughout here it's just in a range so it's not telling us a whole lot um, about trend direction but really short term it's taking a pause right now looks like things are heading to the upside with the money flow and the momentum right now um, so shorter term looking for a bit more upside out of this okay so let's move on to euro dollar um, we'll start with the weekly like the others euro dollar weekly bearish divergence here um, but our money flow just doesn't tell us the same story so money flow has been curling up um, we did get this regular bearish divergence here right regular bearish divergence on the momentum so momentum slowed down decelerated as we were coming up on this wave this last one uh, and we didn't really have the setup here though on our money flow so money flow still looks like it's curling to the upside uh, on this weekly and so i'd be anticipating getting in at a lower price um, for a buy 
if we can get some sort of bullish divergence let's see so daily we'll actually go to the three day at first yeah so three day looks like money flow is kind of curling down but hmm, we didn't really get a proper bearish divergence in here kind of just flat lined not very clear what it's telling us let's see on the daily daily don't have any bullish divergence yet here on the blue um, we do have this money flow kind of staying pretty stagnant it's not getting very heavy to the downside here so you can see in a in this proper downtrend really big waves this is kind of just meh like we're not seeing a whole lot of push and strength to the downside here so it kind of tells me we're going into a bit of a ranging period like this whole area here there's not a whole lot of oomph this move did have it um, but we're kind of just draining out here and just getting into choppy area here um, and we don't really have a really clear bullish divergence I guess you could say okay this was a, the lowest point and it's higher right now so we have our lowest point on the money flow over here so it's, it is kind of coming up, but it's just not all that clear. So it's kind of hard to make a, a strong call. And when it's like that, you just don't want to uh, make any really strong calls until we get more clarity. And yeah, 12 hours still coming down on that money flow. Don't have any bullish divergence. Um, so I'd just be waiting, expecting a bit more downside, some more chop. Um, and you know, it can bounce up and come down again and start to curl up. Um, so that's what I'd be waiting and kind of watching for um, to see if we can get that setup starting to form but it's just not quite ready um, as far as the indicator is going it's not really telling us that it's ready yet um, let's go down to the hourly the hourly does look like money flow is starting to head to the upside a bit so we can see it's kind of curling up um, momentum waves already came up pretty strong to the upside uh, looks like things are overall going up here um, in the short term that is not overall but in the short term things are kind of curling to the upside so I'd be looking for maybe some more movement to the upside maybe it's gonna sweep some highs over here um, but of course we zoom out we are in a downtrend on the hourly here heading down um, so looking for bearish divergence is kind of the the key here but we just don't have the setup for that okay so if we this was a green wave on the money flow we would look for a bearish divergence on that with the blue waves kind of agreeing seeing lower highs on blue waves uh, what we are getting is a lower high here on the blue wave if we get a close here but we don't have the money flow agreeing with us it still looks like it's kind of curling to the upside so it's just not a great setup here um, either way long or short okay we're not getting anything out of it um, really short term so 15 minute we see this kind of bleeding out on this move up the money flow so lower high on the money flow um, but at the same time we had a higher high so a bit of a bleed out there then this lower high cross down bearish divergence both money flow and blue wave so that was kind of a short term indication that things were going to pull back here and probably going to see a bit more downside out of this we don't have to it can always head to the upside but um things look like it's starting to kind of curl down you know head to the downside on this low low time frame final one so uh sp500 index weekly is really heading to the upside strongly i don't see any any indication with our money flow um, or the momentum saying that this is done heading to the upside um, this pullback though is going to be the question so it's an uptrend it's in a pullback we want to try and anticipate when this pullback is going to be done but this weekly is too high of a time frame to really tell us that um, did i get a bearish divergence here uh, on this three day um, but not on the green waves yet i don't believe yeah not quite so still probably have some gas in the tank for an, another move to the upside here so we want to look for this on a lower time frame um, and we can see kind of starting to get that on the daily yeah bearish divergence daily as well so 
weekly we're still looking for this to continue up remember so we want to look for a bullish divergence on this daily um, or on a lower time frame that is and we, we don't quite really have that even on the 12 hour yet let's go down to the four hour nothing really crystal clear here so even down as low as the four probably means that we're going to be seeing some more downside first before this is ready to go to the upside so i'd be anticipating um, whatever happens in this correction here that we see another move down probably to sweep this low here maybe even over here but to look for that setup once we get another move down or if we do and we see a better setup with some bullish divergence um, that's clear you know Right now, things are heading to the upside here with the momentum and the money flow for this four hour time frame, but we don't have a really proper clear setup to get into that weekly uptrend. Um, so I'd be looking for this to maybe chop around some more, head to the upside a little bit um, before continuing down and taking out some lows over here. And then we can maybe have that proper setup on a higher time frame to get into the weekly uptrend. Um, so let's go down hourly. Right now it's curling down, momentum's curling down, money flow's curling down on this hourly, okay? So you're gonna be anticipating this does continue down. Yeah, 15 minute, similar story, kind of curling down here on this, on the money flow, kind of getting in a chop zone right now, but mostly momentum looks like it's heading down, money flow been heading down, okay? So looking a bit more bearish um, on these lower time frames as well as medium time frames, but high time frames are bullish. So um, hopefully the setup forms if we get another move down. So I want to see this, um, how, whatever happens in here, choppiness, um, I want to see this push down and then give us a nice bullish divergence setup um, on a higher time frame, like the daily 12 hours, something like that, um, to get in for that next weekly uptrend move, okay? So that's the idea here, multi-time frame analysis um, with Mark Cipher. Um, check out my affiliate links down in the description. I have this indicator, Market Cipher affiliate link, um, as well as exchanges for cryptocurrency, Bybit Exchange, BitGet Exchange, BitGet uh, for US customers if you don't need KYC or a VPN or anything like that. Um, and uh, check out my Patreon as well. Thank you. and. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Have a great trading week. Trading week has just kicked off, so we'll see how it goes.